I know it's slightly terrifying. Get your screams out now. All right, so as the title already states, I am here to show you a long-lasting drugstore makeup tutorial. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I've actually had requests for this, which I find funny because I make a lot of makeup mistakes. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure it out. But now I'm realizing, no shade, that most all of the people that requested this video don't know what they're doing with their makeup, which is completely fine. We are learning together. So we start off with moisturizer. Um, doesn't really matter what moisturizer you use. But my tip is if you have oily skin like I do, is to let it sit. I've noticed that if I, you know, smear it on my face and then get going with my other routine, my skin is just oily. And although, like, oily skin is the fountain of youth, it doesn't really help if you're taking a picture of people and, like, your face is shining like the top of the Chrysler building. So... I usually let that sit for like 20 minutes. Now it is time for primers. If you listen to nothing else that I say in this video, listen to this, honey, boo boo, you need yourself a primer. You don't have to do, get as OD as I do with my primers, but yeah, I'm a little excessive with the primers. So I start off with the NYX pore filler, dab it onto the area, areas where you have like the biggest pores. And what I do is I'll make faces to make my pores the biggest. And I dab it in to like get it in there. Like when it comes to the pore filling, there's no like smearing. Like this isn't a bagel. We're not making locks. There's no smearing going on. You just kind of. Then I use the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And I just apply that evenly to the rest of my face. Next, I grab the NYX Shine Color. So this just goes in your T-zone. This is clear, more silicone, and less watery than the second one. But honestly, all three have very different textures because they are used for different things. Now you let everything sit for another 10 minutes. So now, after you've let everything sit, so this is like really half an hour of prep before you put anything on your face. You don't have to do be as extreme as I am. This is what works best for me, and for me, I feel like it makes everything last longer. So you can try, and if you don't see a difference, then like, you know, cut it in half. You don't gotta... You don't gotta do all that. You don't, especially if you don't have oily skin, the moisturizer doesn't need to be on your face for that long. Then I apply my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color N7 Natural Tan all over my face. And then I use a beauty blender, and I use that in quotes. This is not a real beauty blender, beauty blender. I think the real one is like 26 or 36 dollars. I don't know. No one's trying to spend $20 on a sponge. I have one. I got it as a present though, but Real Techniques makes one that is comparable. I recommend Real Techniques and not Face Secrets. I got this at Sally's and the girl behind the counter was like, oh, it's totally comparable. This is terrible. It's hard as rock. Never know. So just lightly tap and blend out. It is not that yellow in person. This camera is a lie. It's not that yellow in person, I swear. <laughs> now that I look yellow, Mess, a mess. So I don't do makeup tutorial tutorials. Like, look at this. I look crazy. Next is eyebrows, and for eyebrows, we use the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Like, I think when girls are like, "Oh, I gotta learn how to do my eyebrows," they feel like you gotta do the concealer and like the like that airbrushed where it's light into dark and like perfectly. I don't, girls. You don't need to have all that. All you need to do is have an eyebrow. Just have one. For our under eyes, we're going to use CoverGirl and Olay Deep Puffer Under Eye Concealer in the color medium. And so with the flat top of this, I'm just going to blend that out. And go over. Because we're not putting eyeshadow on today. So we're just going to try to even up the lids with the rest of the face. Using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder, we tap out any possible creases under our eye and use the powder to keep everything smooth. So now, I am going to set the rest of my face though, just to get more coverage. So I'm setting with the L'Oreal True Match Powder. If you do want to set without coverage, you can just use that setting powder that we just used for our under eye, and you can use that for your whole face. Contour, dotting. 
it's a must i can't i have a round face there is nothing to my face it is just a round blob with tiny little beady eyes i gotta you know add some depth some dimension to this sucker mine got a little too dark on this side don't be like me the forehead is really more for me as you can see i have the biggest forehead like i swear i'm not losing hair i don't know receding hair i just got a big ass forehead moving on i grabbed the nyx super skinny eye marker to apply some eyeliner because i like to make my eyes look as big as possible i'm not one of those girls that try to perfect it whatever happens happens and i kind of let it rock and if someone notices it that much they're looking at me too hard Using the e.l.f. palette for blush, we grab that peach color and apply it to the apples of our cheeks. Next up is lips, and I use this so often you can't even read it, but it's the NYX Lip Primer. Yes, a primer for your lips, and it keeps your color on for hours. We then follow up with the L'Oreal Infallible 6 Hour Lip Liner in Plum. Then we set our makeup with the NYX Matte Finish Spray. After I spray is when I put on my mascara. And today we're using the Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Drama for our top and bottom lashes. And we're done. Let's just review, okay? The primers. The primers keep everything on your face. They make, like, you, nothing's gonna move. Nothing's going anywhere. It stays, it sticks. And the setting spray and the setting powders keep this makeup on your face for hours the primers you don't have to use all three like i'm a little excessive with them you could just you could really just use a photo finisher on your whole face if you want to the shine control is only if you're shiny and the pores only if you got big pores but if you just want to use the photo loving primer just use that and just the setting spray fine or the photo loving primer and the setting powder fine but really at least the primer, setting spray, and powder use all three. It's not redundant. It works. It lasts all day. But if you'd like to see more tutorials from me, just leave a kind. If you want me to do a drugstore eyeshadow look, we can do that. If you want me to see how I do a full beat, eyes, and high-end makeup, I can do that. If you never want to see me without makeup ever again, I can do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you'll do something like it again. Or not. <laughs> see you guys next time.